Gulfstream 650 Fleet Contaminated Runway Performance Training Video First let's start with Wet Runway Takeoff Performance Calculation. It's straightforward. Select Wet Runway on Takeoff Init page assuming that water deposit is less than 3 mm. Gulfstream requires thrust reversers to be selected in OP. Easer regulation assume both reversers and operative for wet runway takeoff performance. If runway condition report include actual contamination and depth, simply enter its type to MCDU. Contamination depth for relevant thirds of the runway as per a CC report must be also entered. To verify FMS figure use either APG or Guru application. Enter actual reported runway contamination to match FMS figures. Always make sure you save your performance calculation for further verification. Little confusing can be situation when our CC is reported without contamination and depth. Pilots must refer to AFM Supplement Appendix D. You will find it in your plane book. Conversion table provides contamination equivalent for given RCC number. Contamination including depth provided by table must be entered into MCDU. In this particular case, we enter standing water with depth of 15 millimeters. Make sure you also include 600 feet allowance stipulated in Appendix D. Easy way to do it is editor value for displace threshold. Similar way G650 pilots do landing performance. If available, enter actual contamination or equivalent from Appendix D. For in-flight landing performance calculation, use in route factor of 15%.